third method of getting power, which is the latest technology, this is very similar to the motor generator set, only it has no moving parts. It's called a static converter. This particular unit is a 20 horsepower static converter. It weighs 25 pounds, so it can be very easily carried onto a job site. It will accept either single phase uh, 240 volt or uh, three phase 208 to 250 volt and produce our 400 hertz power. On and off, it's quite simple. Speed control, just turn the knob. Reverse is as simple as hitting a switch like that. You can turn your motor backwards. And uh, it's self-protected on overloads and uh, ground faults. Shuts itself down. It's very safe to use. This was the output plug. Uh, we use a standard 73 amp just for convenience because most of our customers use this plug and it's quite common and easy to get. Okay, we're going to demonstrate what a 400 hertz inverter powering this fan. We'll show you how flexible it is. First we're going to show you how fast this runs on Edison Company frequency, 60 hertz. Okay. We're looking at this fan producing 60 hertz, same as Edison Company frequency now. I'll turn it up. There's 100 hertz. you what this small 400 hertz drill will do. It's a quarter inch Milwaukee converted to 400 hertz by us. Very powerful. Yet let me show you something. I'm going to hold this drill. And it didn't rip out of my hand. Very low starting torque, but very high torque at maximum RPM. So if if you get the drill stuck, it's not dangerous. Same with the saw or same with any of the tools. It's an additional feature of 400 hertz, the safety. Universal motor tools have the highest torque at zero RPM. When they're locked up on a nail or the blade is pinched for some reason, they are the most dangerous tools to use because of the extreme torque. Okay, I'm going to plug in this seven inch worm drive handsaw. Saw this four by. Full depth. Let me show you the safety. One hand. Not dangerous. We're demonstrating a new machine. This is a 120 volt uh, commonly used vacuum cleaner in the construction industry. Now, we have uh, a measuring device called an anemometer, which will measure the airflow into the vacuum. Simple device, air goes through it, spins, and it gives you a reading. 
feet per minute of air intake velocity. Okay, here we go with the 120 volt machine. One more little test is the vacuum gauge, and we'll measure the suction. I've just changed the 120 volt power head and put the 400 hertz power head in its place. It's plugged in to this inverter. This inverter makes our 400 hertz power. We'll now demonstrate the feed per minute airflow into the vacuum cleaner with a 400 hertz motor. Here's a vacuum gauge to show you the static lift of the uh, 400 hertz motor. The velocity of the air intake was just about double, about 815 feet per minute. And the suction is six inches versus three and a half inches for the 120 volt motor. This is a demonstration of a 400 hertz, five horsepower vacuum head and its suction capability. This is a 120 volt unit we'll show next. We've just seen the 400 hertz vacuum head in action. Now let's compare it with a powerful 120 volt vacuum head and see the difference in suction. The suction ability of the 400 hertz vacuum lifted the water approximately 7 feet in the column, whereas the 120 volt vacuum lifted the water about 3.5 feet, or about half as much suction. In this demonstration, we're going to show the difference between a 120 volt Milwaukee grinder and a 400 hertz Milwaukee grinder. We have two half inch bolts welded to this piece of channel iron. You can clearly see how much faster the 400 hertz grinder is than the 120 volt grinder. Would you like to see that again?